welcome back to my channel and today's video is another valentine's design so lottie is ready to go tips have been applied these are the gem stiletto tips and i've chopped the end off so i've got oh, i'd say more of a tapered square shape and now using the perfect nails clear i'm doing my thin clear base now for complete honesty i'm not a massive fan of valentine's day i i've been single for ever it feels like uh so valentine's day is is nothing special for me particularly so i'm never really into doing valentine's designs but i thought i'd better do some um however last year on valentine's day my fourth nephew was born so for me it's not valentine's day it's jacob's birthday and obviously this year his first birthday so very special um but still valentine's for everyone else who's not in my family um but this design it's not full on valentine's in my opinion it's slightly different colors and speaking of color i've got sunflower and orange blossom from glam and glitz these are both from the diamond collection and then i've got the be mine valentine's glitter from the nail team so this has got beautiful oranges and yellows and some reds um but it's it's a different sort of mix so i could cope with it uh, and I picked the two Glam and Glitz colours because I felt they matched that glitter beautifully. So starting with Orange Blossom, I'm just applying that at the tip, faded it back just past the natural free edge and painted it just to the very tip. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting glitter from the cuticle and fading up. I say it all the time, but you know what, I'm going to say it again. Glam and Glitz are so pigmented, you really can't just paint them on. I mean, look at how easily that applied. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the index finger, but with sunflower. What a beautiful yellow this is. Spring, summer, even for a touch of yellow in autumn colours, this one is going to be beautiful. And I'm just doing the same thing, painting it on, blending it back, just adding a little bit more um, where I hadn't quite got full coverage. Just blending it in and boom, done. No, not done. Touch more. Didn't like it. There we go. So I'm going to leave that to set slightly uh, before going in with the glitter. And this design is mainly about the glitter, but they're not I'm mainly about glitter anyway. So there we go. So on the ring finger, and I also did the thumb the same, not in video though, I'm applying that glitter just at the tip, uh, just down past the natural free edge slightly. I'm moving those heart shapes around so I've got nice coverage but so I haven't got them all piled up on top of each other because that adds bulk and we don't want bulk. Just getting it past that natural free, well natural she says, it's not very natural but imagine it's natural and then I'm going to let that set because I don't want to do anything else until the glitter is set in place otherwise all my faffing around, moving it getting the hearts in place is for nothing because I'll just smush it all around and then on the middle I'm going to do a full nail of the glitter but I'm going to fade it out slightly so I've got a bit of a glassy tip going on so I'm getting that cuticle nice and neat first because that's highly important to me again I don't want the glitter stacked up on top of each other I'm not worrying too much if there's a few gaps um, I want the pieces as close together as possible uh, on what should be the natural part of the nail. Ha ha ha. Um, but I don't want it all bulky. So it's just playing around. You, you, get, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do, hopefully. And then towards the tip, I'm just going to fade it out slightly so I've got a bit of see-throughness. Um, and basically, doing this gives me an opportunity to faff. And once I'm happy with that, I mean, you could do full coverage if you wanted. I just like to mix things up. I am going to fade the glitter from the cuticle just down over the colour on the pinky and the index finger. So instead of waffling on, I'm just going to let you watch because standard stuff, really. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
so the glitter is all in place and I faffed until I'm happy and now we just need to finish off the ring finger and I'm just using cover acrylic at the cuticle and fading it down over the glitter slightly to do an ombre now I like these where the glitter is coming out from under the um, cover acrylic but if you're not a fan just do it the other way around so cover powder first and glitter on top and I'm only bringing that cover powder just down past the natural free edge so we're not covering all of the glitter just the very edge of it um, I'm gonna be honest with you I can't remember which cover powder I used I didn't write it down um, but you could use whatever it's completely up to you which cover powder is your personal favorite and then now that design is all finished we are going to cap these in clear acrylic this is where we're going to build the structure and then I will file these nails to shape now personally I like to use a 100 grit file for doing the shaping of the side walls and the free edge and then I use a 150 followed by a 180 on the surface of the nail and then they will be ready to finish off so we've got a very dusty lotty at the moment uh, but they are all filed so give them a good dust to get rid of that excess dust well not the excess dust all the dust uh, because we don't want that in the finished nail and I'm going to give them a good wipe over with my sanitizer um, you could get a client to wash their hands Lottie just won't walk to the bathroom but I would always give it a wipe over with your sanitizer afterwards because if there's any oils in the soap that hasn't been washed off properly that could affect the adhesion of your top coat which you don't want I've actually gone in to clean it for a second time and that's because I used cotton wool the first time which I never normally use and it leaves little bits of fluff which again you don't want in your finished nail so I've gone in with my wax strip wipe given it a good clean to get rid of any fluff cotton bits of dust that might have attached themselves again and now we can top coat as always with the perfect nails I felt with the colours and the glitter in this set, it had more than enough going on that I didn't need to add any bling. Uh, I know normally I just go the extra mile, but I felt this was the extra mile. But you could add bling if you really wanted to. And then once these have cured, that will be the Sunset Valentine's design finished. So I know I said I wasn't a massive Valentine's fan, but this set is not full on Valentine's in my opinion. I know there's lots of hearts, but the colours don't automatically make me think Valentine's nails. So I do quite like this one and um, well, I hope you do too. So here is the finished design all cured and I was pleased with how these finished. Um, I love the colours in this design, they are very much summer and sunset colours um, but you could also do autumn with this glitter, in fact I did do autumn with this glitter and I will link that in the description box. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video, if so please give it a, a thumbs up and I'd love to know what you think of this design. If you are new to my channel and you haven't already please click that subscribe button so you can check out more of my madness uh, and make sure you check out the description box because I will put product links details and I will link that autumn video in there as well I have one more Valentine set for you which I will share in the next few days but until then enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you again very soon bye Mwah.